Hi folks, welcome to lesson three, Health and Infection with Priestland Science. Uh, if you remember last lesson, we looked at describing the causes, symptoms and treatments of certain diseases. And I left you with some practice questions to complete. These were the start of the questions. Uh, if you've got them with you, uh, go and get them. If you haven't got them with you, go and get them. And you can check your answers uh, here. and here. So we'll use the same lesson format as normal. We'll start with some retrieval practice and make sure you've got all your resources together. So retrieval practice is here. This is C1 atomic structure. Pause and retrieve. These are the answers to those questions. Again, if you need to make any revision cards, pause and revise. This is P1 energy, you can pause and retrieve. And the answers are here. Again, if you need to make any revision cards, pause and revise. Our final set of questions are B1, health and infection, which I hope are a little bit more straightforward. So you can pause and retrieve. And then you can check your answers and if need to be, pause and revise. So today's lesson is all about describing how the body fights disease. Uh, you're gonna need several documents. I think there's three pieces of paper. Uh, one of them looks like this. One of them looks like this. And then one of them looks a little bit like this. Now, if you don't have these questions or you can't access them, then you can simply use a pen and paper to do them and rewind the video as you like to, to get things down. Uh, the second part of the questions are here, by the way. So I'm gonna switch over to camera now and we will get on with the lesson. So the first question says, what is the non-specific defense system? And the answer to that question is parts of the body that protect against multiple diseases. So the word non-specific essentially means not specific. Specific is targeted at one disease. So specific targets one disease. Non-specific will target multiple diseases or lots and lots of different diseases. So as I give you some examples here, it says describe how four parts of the body's non-specific defense system prevents disease and hopefully with the examples, you'll see what we mean. So the first example is our skin. And our skin acts as a natural barrier. Essentially, uh, it's a barrier between us, our internal organs, and whatever we can be exposed to on the outside world. So it's a very effective barrier to those. Uh, the second part of the body is the nose. And I'm sure you know it contains hairs and mucus. And that's to trap pathogens. The third part is the trachea, the bronchi, which sure some of you know, those are just posh words really for our windpipes, the pipes which enter our lungs. And those parts contain mucus, and 
cilia. Cilia you can think of as like tiny little hairs. They're not necessarily made out of hair, but they have a similar sort of shape and structure to them. And again, those two things act to trap pathogens. And the final part of the body I'd like to write down is the stomach. And the stomach contains acid. And one of the roles of that acid is to kill pathogens. So anything which anything which enters our stomach is exposed to a pH, a very low pH, pH one or pH two. Um, and, and most of which is killed to protect, obviously, anything getting further into our digestive tract. Okay, so that's what we call the non-specific defense system. All those things are designed to really, on a day-to-day -day basis, protect us from normally fairly low-level pathogens, which our body can sort of deal with and we don't get sick and we don't really carry on living normal lives. We're going to just move very swiftly to what is the specific immune system. The specific immune system. And the specific immune system will target specific diseases. So um, one disease at a time, essentially. And it's got several parts to it. And the rest of this lesson, I'd like just to focus on the parts of it. So understand the parts of it, and then we'll put it together as a whole story in the next lesson. So these are the parts I want to talk about. We've got some key words. I'm going to work through this with you and finish off some of these definitions. And we're going to draw some pictures at the same time. So the first one says white blood cell. And essentially, we need to know that a white blood cell is a blood cell that destroys pathogens. That's its sole purpose, really. It's there to destroy pathogens. And my picture for a white blood cell and it look like a normal cell, but you'll notice I draw it a little bit differently. The reason for that is the white blood cell has a rather strange shaped nucleus. It's what's called a lobed nucleus. I've drawn it in there. So that's our white blood cell. Next, we've had two words we've come across before. A pathogen. That's a microorganism that causes disease. I'm sure you could do some of these without me. And then an antigen is a protein on the surface of pathogens. Again, I'd like to use the same pictures we used in lesson one. So I'm going to draw the pathogen as just a little rectangle. And then on the surface, I'm going to put those antigens. So those are antigens. Uh, we've also had the next uh, word before, the word toxin. And I think we discussed the definition. A toxin is a chemical released by pathogens, a chemical released by pathogens that damages or kills cells. And same as last time, our toxin is going to have this little square symbol. Our next word says phagocytosis, phagocytosis. And this is the process where white blood cells engulf and break down pathogens. process by which white blood cells engulf and break down pathogens. So I'm going to draw a little picture of that interesting process. So I think you probably know what that is. And then around the outside, the process of engulfing 
look something like this. And normally when I draw this, it's just to say, oh, it's a bit like a Pac-Man. It looks like a Pac-Man. Well, in the picture it does, yes, obviously. But that's the process of engulfing. So that's phagocytosis. Now, antibody, uh, the definition of antibody is protein, or a protein, released by white blood cells that attach to antigens. Protein released by white blood cells that attach to antigens. And the shape, I've got to work this out, the shape of an antibody is something like that, like a sort of straight Y shape. You'll notice this shape here is what we say complementary to the antigen shape. Like the definition is that the antibody will attach to the antigen. So we're going to have this shape will fit with that shape um, of the antigen. Uh, the definition of an antitoxin is protein, another protein released by white blood cells that attach to toxins, a protein released by white blood cells that attach to toxins. And the shape, again, you might be able to spot something which is happening here. The shape of the antitoxin is specific to the toxin. So we've got this basically toxin will hopefully fit inside the antitoxin. And our last definition is a neutralized toxin. And we're going to write all this out. So this is the definition of a neutralized toxin. Toxin attached to antitoxin. Toxin attached to antitoxin. And then I'm just going to put a little hyphen and it no longer causes cell damage. And the picture, well, there is the antitoxin and sat inside it there, we've got the toxin. Okay, so that's just about everything I wanted to cover today. Um, things left for you to do, I think there's two things really. Uh, one is do a little bit of embedding. Uh, it's either retrieval practice on your own of everything we've been through there, both the non-specific defense system and this these keywords. Uh, so do that. You can either do that on your own, obviously, or you can do some peer testing, find something in the, in, in the house to um, to question you. And then after that, you can then just take five minutes to do that, but do it properly, please. Um, after that, then you can then move to the slop questions, the practice questions, which would probably take you, all of that would probably take you 10 or 15 minutes. So that's it for today. Um, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Work hard, work efficiently. And yeah, we'll see you in tomorrow's lesson. Okay.